guys, I'm Nikki Sizemore. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a recipe that might just revolutionize the way you cook fish. I'm going to show you how to make slow cooker salmon. So believe it or not, the slow cooker is the perfect tool for cooking fish. The slow, gentle heat results in perfectly tender, juicy fillets of fish. No more dry, chalky salmon, please, it's the worst. It actually couldn't be easier to do. It comes from my book, Fresh Flavors for the Slow Cooker. This salmon we're gonna rub with a really simple but optional spice rub, and you can serve it in a million different ways, but I'm going to share some of my favorite ways to serve this slow cooker salmon. All right, I can't wait to show you how it's done, so let's head to the kitchen. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. That way you won't miss out on any any of my easy, wholesome, family-friendly, and naturally gluten-free recipes. We're going to start by making an easy spice rub for the salmon. I have chili powder, ground cumin, and a touch of brown sugar. The spice rub is optional, but it gives the salmon an incredible flavor. You can also mix it up, maybe try swapping out the chili powder for curry powder. Now let's talk salmon. You'll need two to four salmon fillets depending on how many people you're serving and how big your slow cooker is. You want to buy center cut fillets which will cook more evenly than the tail end. And you can buy skin on or skinless. I prefer to cook the salmon with the skin on because it helps keep it moist, but it is up to you. Season the salmon well with salt and pepper and then sprinkle on the spice rub. You can use any salmon variety you like. You can use wild salmon or a farm salmon. Just take note that wild salmon tends to be leaner than farm salmon and it might cook a bit faster. It's time to prep the slow cooker. You'll want to line it with a large piece of aluminum foil leaving an overhang. This is gonna make it really easy to pull the salmon out after it's cooked. Arrange lemon or lime slices along the bottom. I'm using limes today because they pair really well with the chili powder. Then pour in enough water just to come to the top of the limes. By the way, you could even use white wine instead of the water if you prefer. Place the salmon right on top of those limes. Now I am using a six quart oval slow cooker which fits four fillets, but the amount of salmon you cook will depend on the size of your slow cooker. Now set the heat to low. It's important to cook the fish on low and we're gonna cook this for an hour to an hour and a half. All slow cookers are different. Some run hotter, some run colder. So really get to know your model. If your slow cooker tends to run hotter, you'll want to check it a bit early. In my slow cooker, it takes one hour for medium rare, which is how I prefer to eat my salmon, but it's totally up to you. If you like it cooked longer, then cook it longer. You can serve this salmon all on its own, maybe with a spritz of lime juice. You can see how flaky and juicy it is, or you can serve it in power bowls or grain bowls. I like to pile it over quinoa with shaved cabbage, avocado slices, and my creamy cilantro yogurt sauce. I will link to that recipe below. But you can use any veggies or sauce you like. And then last but not least, the salmon is awesome in tacos. I'm using that cilantro yogurt sauce again with the cabbage and the avocado, but you could use any taco fixings you like. This slow cooker salmon is so versatile, the options are endless. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I would love to hear what you think about this slow cooker salmon. Definitely let me know in the comments below. I've included below a link to the full recipe. I've also included a link to my website where you can find a ton of other slow cooker dishes. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.